In this video, we are going to rewrite our Hello World component using JSX. Now, for those of you that don't know, JSX is a JavaScript syntax extension that was written by Facebook, and it looks kind of similar to XML. So if you've got any experience with that, you might have a little bit of familiarity with JSX. Now, you don't actually have to use JSX, um, as we saw in the last video, but I definitely prefer to use it. I find it more concise and much easier to use, especially when you're dealing with large tree structures, which we'll see later on. Now, one thing to remember is that it does transform into plain JavaScript. So even when we write JSX, it will still transform back down to this, but that's fine. It just makes it easier for us as the developer to write it, um, and it's easy to read and review, etc. Now, to use JSX in the browser, we are going to have to include a library called Babel. Now, normally you would be using something like Webpack or Browserify or Gulp. Um, I'm not going to use those for these early lessons because it's a bit too much. We will get onto those later on when we start doing the projects and I'll give you a quick overview uh, and rundown of those. So don't need to worry about that for now. Let's go ahead and include Babel into this index.html. Let's navigate over to the browser and go to cdnjs.com and search for Babel. And it's the Babel core that we need. Now they've actually removed the ability to transform JavaScript in the browser in the later versions. So we're going to need to get version 5.0. 8.2 is the version that I'm using. And this will allow us to have our JSX transformed in the browser. As I said, normally you would use something like Webpack. And the reason they've removed it from the later versions of Babel is because there's no real need to have it because when you actually do start writing React projects, you will be using Webpack or Browserify that will do this all for you. It's only really examples such as this tutorial where it's helpful to transform it in the browser. Let's go ahead and copy this and put it into our index.html. So script with the source and let's paste in our Babel script and close the tag off. Excellent. One more thing we need to do is just tell Babel that this script here is going to be of Babel of JSX. So type equals text slash Babel. This just lets the library know to transform this JavaScript or JSX or ES6 into plain JavaScript. Let's go ahead and write our first JSX component then. Let's comment this original component out, it'd be nice to compare with our new JSX component. Just as before, we're going to use React DOM and the render function, which as you know from the last video, takes two arguments. The first argument being the element, the second argument being the DOM element you want to render to. Now JSX allows you to write tags in a very HTML or XML way. So rather than creating our elements and saying, right, put a H1 tag, put some uh, text inside that tag, we can actually just write the H1 tag out as we normally would in, in HTML, like so. Ooh, let's go, hello world. This is written in JSX and we can just close that tag off. And that is exactly the same as doing react.createElement. JSX knows to transform it into the react.createElement. And I'll actually show you that in a second. As we know, the next argument in react.dom.render is the DOM element we're gonna to render to. So just as before, we're gonna render it to the div with an ID of app. So let's go ahead and do that. 
document dot get element by ID and pass in our ID. Go ahead and close the method off with your semicolon. And that's it. That's our JSX component. Let's check it out in the browser. There we go. Hello world. This is written in JSX. Nice and simple. Let's actually have a quick look at how that transforms. So if you go to babeljs.io and click on try it out. Now this is going to transform any JSX we pass in on the left hand side into plain JavaScript on the right hand side. So let's go ahead and copy our component and paste it in. And as you can see on our left hand side our JSX has been transformed into plain JavaScript. So this is how we wrote our component in the first video and this is how we've written our component using JSX. Nice and simple. Just a quick recap then. Using JSX which is a JavaScript syntax extension we can write our HTML elements straight into the render method. We don't have to bother with react.create element. This makes it much cleaner and simpler and quicker to write React components. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed my video, please like, share, and subscribe. If you've got any comments, suggestions, or ideas for videos, leave them in the comments below. Send me a tweet at Code with Tim or send me an email, codewithtim at gmail.com. Oh, my God.